Hi everybody, it's Richard here again and welcome to another little video. I haven't done one in about six weeks. I had a nice long break and I've been looking around for ideas and I've been actually playing some of my uh, seven inch singles of late. And I came up with this idea about certain singles that I bought. I think it was from Oldies Unlimited way back in the day when there was no internet and uh, these companies used to send out catalogues and what they did was they gave you like a, a, almost like a lucky bag saying 10 punk singles for a pound or two pound or whatever it was and I think I bought a couple of those because the majority of these songs that I'm showing I know next to nothing about some of them I know a little bit about but some of them I have no idea so please help me out if you know anything about these bands now not all of these were bought from uh, Oldies Unlimited there's a couple I actually bought at the time myself, although they didn't do too well in the charts. So the first one up, and I bought this in 1983, and it's called The Cabaret by Time UK. And the reason I bought this was it was uh, Rick Buckler's first band, After The Jam. And I'd never heard the song, I just saw it, and I knew that he was in this band, and I bought it, and I loved it, and I still love it to this day. But I know nothing about Time UK after this single. I don't know if they released anything more. Did they do an album? I have no idea. So if you know, uh, let me know. But it's a great track, Time UK, from 1983. This one here was definitely part of uh, A Lucky Bag. And this is The Duke. And I know nothing about The Duke either. This is actually an EP with four tracks. But the lead-off track is called Watch Your Step which is very 1960s small faces with a little bit of the who in it and I think this is from around 1976, 1978 sorry it's from 1978 and it's a very very good EP Watch Your Step, great track, a Dawes Wheel whoever the singer is a little bit like uh, Steve Marriott but it's a very very good song this one here I knew about in the early 80s but I could never see it, never got it and I finally got it not, not that long ago and this is the Cuddly Toys and this is a track called Madman and the reason I always fancied getting this is because the A-side Madman was written by David Bowie and Mark Bowen I think it was done around 1977 the actual composition and it was only a sketch really I think it's around the time of the Mark shows but these guys took it and they stretched it out a bit and there is a video of them performing it. It's, it's an okay song, it's not brilliant, it's, it's fine. And the lead singer just thinks he is Ziggy Stardust, so it's more veered towards Bowie than it is Bowen. But it's a good track, and I think the only other song that Bowie and Bowen have credit on, which was never released, is Standing Next to You, which is the little instrumental that they did at the end of the Mark shows, whenever Mark Bowen fell off the stage. But Madman by the Cuddly Toys is a good track. This one here is Gatecrasher by Gorillaz and that is not the um, Damon Alborn band. Yes this is okay, um, it's catchy enough, I think it's from 1976, there's a bit of a punk edge to it. Uh, it's on the Chiswick label, I know nothing about these guys at all so if you know anything let me know but it's a decent enough track, catchy. This one I've heard of before, The Bishops and it is I Take What I Want and this is very rock and roll based now the bishops I think were known as the Count Bishops I'm not too sure people like um, I'm sure Mike Vinyl Sparrow or Chris at uh, the Vinyl Orchard will know but yet again this is very rock and roll based as well with a little punk twist but it's decent and this was one of those uh, lucky bag uh, purchases this next one I bought myself and I bought this in 1983 in our local record shop and it's Bo Brummel featuring Paul Rowland, Knox and Andy Ellison and the track is Hot George and the reason I bought this because I knew the song Hot George was a Mark Bowen song which had been released in the previous year on the Billy Super Duper album and Andy Ellison I also knew was part of Joan's Children the same band that Mark Bowen was in in 1967 and yeah it is not bad it's, it's a decent enough version nothing spectacular but did anything um, happen to these other guys like Paul Rowland did he go on to do anything because he apparently wrote the b-side so I don't know know nothing about them just I've had this single for years always enjoy it 
This one here is quite a famous one and it's Clark Kent and this is Don't Care and basically this is Stuart Copeland um, and it says he's doing the vocals, drums, guitar, bass and the typewriter and um, really it's in a similar type vein to On Any Other Day uh, from the uh, Regatta de Blanc album but it's good fun but I know for a fact that whenever he performed this on Top of the Pops didn't do too well his back in band I think had masks on and his back in band were actually the rest of the police so Sting had a mask on and Andy Summers so yeah it's decent enough but uh, nothing compared to what the police were releasing this one here I know absolutely nothing about and it's Jet uh, Bronx and the Forbidden and Ain't Doing Nothing and this is from around 1977 and this is as catchy as hell again it's very rock and roll based but a bit of a sort of a new way of sound to it but the actual chorus itself is so infectious it's a really really good track um, I know nothing about this, this is not even on YouTube at all so you can't actually hear it so if you know anything about these guys and who was in them please let me know this is on the Lightning label this is another one that I know nothing about and it's not on YouTube either and this is The Balls and it's called I Love The Balls and I think this is absolutely brilliant it starts off with that sort of pong sound that you got you know with the old tennis computer game on your TV and then it goes into um, very Sparks influenced track I think this is from around 1980-81 and the fellow that's actually singing sounds a little bit like Julian Cope although I know it's not but this too not on YouTube but I think it's absolutely brilliant and it's very very witty just like the, the Sparks lyrics from around the 70s and 80s as well so yeah the balls I love the balls and this one here is Blast Furnace and the whatever because it's been stroked out and this is south of the river and this is more of a sort of a pub rock almost bluesy type sound and I know absolutely nothing about this band it's actually quite a good song there's a little bit of harmonica and all in it but yeah very good but the um, Blast Furnace is the singer Blitzkrieg uh, rhythm guitar Skidmark harmonica then you get Keith Allen on bass I wonder if that's the Keith Allen, Lily Allen's dad, I don't know. And then John uh, Mackey on drums. If you know anything about this, please let me know. I've had this for years as well. Very good song. Now this one I think is really, really good. And this is Joe Fagan and God Save the Queen. And this is the guy I believe that uh, actually broke into Buckingham Palace and got into the Queen's bedroom. And he does God Save the Queen. He slows it down. There is a bit of guitar in it, but it's mostly saxophone, and it is really, really good. He can't sing. I think it's probably his only one single. I don't know, but yeah, really enjoy it. Joe Fagan, God Save the Queen. Now, this next band, I'm going to show three singles. And I know they came in one of those lucky bags. I must have bought two or three of those punk lucky bags, because you would never get three of the same artists in the one bag. And it's the Radiators from Space. Now the only thing I know about these guys is they're from Dublin. That's it. But these three singles are absolutely brilliant. The first one is Television Screen. Again, very rock and rolly with a punk twist. The second one is Enemies, which is just a really, really good punk song. And the third one is a really good pop song called Million Dollar Hero. And this one actually I noticed was produced by Tony Visconti. Now I would actually like to explore these guys further because those are three absolutely brilliant singles. Uh, so I had a wee quick look up Discogs and there is a couple of albums which are not too expensive which I might actually get. But with regards to who's in the band I know nothing about them. Um, I don't know if uh, they carried on their careers in different bands or whatever. But yeah, absolutely brilliant, those three singles, and I hope the albums, if I do get them, will be the same. And the next one I do know more about because I did explore further. And again, these came in the, those packs and it's Radio Stars. And this is the Stop It, No Russians in Russia. And this has got Andy Ellison on it as well. And this song was actually performed on the Mark Show. But Radio Stars, a really good band. You also have Nervous Wreck, which was a minor hit single and actually got on top of the pops. You got the track itself, Radio Stars, and then you get From a Rabbit. Now those are all four brilliant singles. 
But I did actually explore further and I bought two, there are, there are only two albums I think, I bought them a, a couple of years ago and they are, this one is uh, the Holiday album which I think is the second album and this one is Songs for Swinging Lovers which are really really good. So I'm hoping the Radiators from Space or the Radiators, I think they changed their name, I hope their albums are as good. So there are some singles that's from my collection which I know nothing about but one thing I will say is they're all very enjoyable. So that's me for now. I hope you enjoyed that and I don't know when I'll have the next video. It won't be as regular as it used to be but anyway until then all the best now. Bye bye.